Welcome back to another Captain of Industry video. In Captain of Industry, you can and you should give a lot of different types of food to your population. You can also give them goods, you know, think about furnitures like tables and chairs. You can also give them appliances like your fridge. And then lastly, you can give them consumer electronics like your TVs and your iPads. But this is not all. You can and you should once again give them access to a clinic with some medical supplies in it. We're going to see that there are three different levels of medical supplies. We're going to cover what they give you, and I'm also going to do some great layouts to produce them. Let's dive right in. I'm Strat Gamer covering strategy games, city building, simulations, with a lot of guides, tutorials, and let's play series. So don't hesitate to check the channel to subscribe if you haven't done so already. You need a research lab level 3 to start unlocking your hospital. This is here at the bottom. It requires both glass making and fermentation, and with that, you'll be able to make a clinic you'll be able to make a clinic and you'll be able to make medical supply level one and if you go further over here after your research lab level four you'll be able to make medical supply level two and then lastly right at the end after your research lab level five you'll be able to make medical supply level three it's important to note that you do also need the poppy seed you need to have discovered it on the map and as I said, with that, you unlock your clinic. Similar to the food or the goods, you need to place it right next to your population, right next to your city. Right? This is sort of like a market. And similar to a market level two, you can put two different inputs between those three levels, make a supply one, two, and three. One important thing though, it's not like food where if you give medical supply level one and medical supply level two, it is going to split between the two. No, it will just give one of these. What will happen is it will only give one of these to your population, the highest level, and that will take all of the consumption. We see over here, we can see the total settlement need, 24.2. It actually doesn't matter if it's supply level 1, 2 or 3, this will always be the same need. And whichever level I decide to give, I will need to give all of this. The only time it does change is when there is an illness. When there is an illness into the city, I think it increases by 50% or something like this. But this will definitely increase. So why should you give different levels? Well, you definitely shouldn't actually give different levels. You should give the highest level you can because the higher the level, the better the bonuses. We see here the medical level level 1 is giving us 0.72 unity, 15 points of health, and a mortality reduction of 0.6. Compared to medical level 2, this is 0.96, this is 20 points, and this is a 1% reduction. And this is even higher for the medical supply level 3, where you're getting 1.4 unity, 25 of health, and 1.4 of mortality. For the unity, this is simple, right? it just adds to your total unity of your settlement. Similarly for the health bonus, right? This is here, healthcare plus 25, this adds to your water, food, and other elements like this, which is counterbalanced by things like your pollution, air or water, and also sickness. And then based on this, this will give you your growth, right? If this is positive, a positive growth. If this is negative, then your people start dying. And this is where this mortality reduction comes into play. If you have a huge disease and your health is very low, there's for example a mortality rate of 3%, but now we have a mortality reduction of 1%, thanks to this medical supply level 2, then the mortality rate will be lower, so you lose less people. So this is definitely very worth giving in most of your cases, right? unity, health and mortality reduction, I definitely suggest you do. And as I said, you shouldn't try to give all three, you should just give the highest level that you can. In my case over here, this is medical supply level 3, because I'm really end game. If you follow my Let's Play series, which you can find in the video description below, you may remember this layout over here. This was the layout that I built for Medical Supply Level 2. Now this is all paused because I moved to Medical Supply Level 3. But let's still take a quick look at it together. It is actually built on the groundwater reserve as you can see, so that I don't need to import any water. This is completely self-sustained, doesn't need anything else. So that's one great thing you may want to do. You may want to think about where you put it. This water is going to be used in a couple of places, but mainly for my farms, right? We have over here three farms, three greenhouse level two, which are producing the sugar cane. We're not giving any fertilizer, but as I said, of course, we're using a lot of water that is coming from those three groundwater pumps. They're not always working, which is why, you know, here we have a reserve. This reserve also enables me to put a notification, an alert. If I see a problem, right, if it goes down below 25, I know this is a problem. Those three sugar cane are going there here into three food processor. 
because I'm making 15 on average. I have three of these, so that's three food processor. We are, we are adding a bit more water, it's really not a lot, three, to make a lot of sugar. A bit of biomass, but mostly sugar. I also put those loose storage of sugar cane over here for two reasons. The first one is a bit of a buffer, right? but the main reason is actually to put those alerts to know when there's a problem. We are creating a bit of biomass, as I said, right? It goes on that belt over here and into this mixer. Then this mixer transports it into compost, and this compost is just dumped. I just dumped my compost into the ocean. But more importantly, of course, is what do we do with all the sugar? Well, we have one of these that's linked this side because we're making 12 and each of these fermentation tank is going to take three. So three times four, that's 12. We're adding a bit of ammonia and a bit of oxygen to make the antibiotics and the carbon dioxide. To be honest, right now, the carbon dioxide is just sent into the atmosphere, which is one of the things creating a bit of pollution in my city. But remember that you can do things with the CO2, right? You can use a gas injection pump to send it into the ground where there's limestone, or you can even transform into graphite. As we said, we need some oxygen. This is what's coming from here, right? The oxygen is sent directly over here on that pump. And we also need some ammonia. We'll talk about it just now. What do we do with the rest of the sugar? Or well, this sugar is sent this way over here into those two tanks. Now, once again, this is 12 and 12, right? So 24 here, 12 and 12. 24 we are adding even more oxygen this oxygen is coming from this one over here one was not enough we have two of these this is sent this way into those two and we're making with that the ethanol and a bit more carbon dioxide again which is sent into the atmosphere this ethanol comes over here where we're adding just a bit of plastic plastic is coming from over here and with that we're making some disinfectant this disinfectant is going all the way over here in, into those two assembly electrics level two. Of course, if you want, you can also put a robotic one and only have one of these, right? And this is taking this disinfectant plus some medical equipment to make the medical supply level one. Medical equipment, this is the second thing coming from here, from those four over here. Once again, you know, you can go to robotic, of course, if you want to have less of these, taking some steel and again, some plastic, which is why the plastic is coming from there, right? First, the plastic is sent there and then continues over here and also a bit of steel, as we said. So the plastic at level zero, the steel at level one. This is making those medical equipments and then those medical supplies are going straight to the next one where we add the antibiotics that we've been making to those fermentation tanks over here to make the medical supply level two. Right? It goes into this storage over here and then can be sent to my city. So the only thing we're missing, if you remember, is we need a bit of ammonia. This is really not a lot, right? This is 0.8 times 4. But still, we do need to make it somewhere. And this is what's happening over here. Where first, I'm taking just water. This is just water coming from my groundwater over here. It goes into this to make some oxygen and some hydrogen. I could have actually linked this oxygen to send it over here. To maybe have one less of those air separators. But that's not the end of the world right now i'm just sending into the atmosphere and we're making hydrogen then this hydrogen goes over here into this chemical plant so six hydrogen plus nitrogen nitrogen coming from this air separator to make this ammonia and again this is six so that's definitely enough for those four over here so it is ladies and gents this is level two medical supplies now of course if you want to make medical supply level one well that's even easier right because basically you're going to have this part over here where you're, where you're making your medical equipment and then you also still need to make your disinfectant, right? So you still need over here to make a bit of ethanol. So you still need those two over here, but you don't actually need over here to make antibiotics. So basically what will happen is you can kill one of those greenhouse, you can kill all of this and you also don't need this part over here. You don't need to make hydrogen, you don't need to make ammonia. On the other hand, medical supply level three does get a bit more complex. You can see this is what's needed. We have four of those greenhouse and we have a bit more buildings over here. To make medical supply level three, we're gonna need medical supply level two. But on top of that, we're gonna need anesthetics and morphine. So of course, to make the medical supply level two, it's basically similar. We're going to make the medical supply level two based on antibiotics and medical supply level one. And we're gonna make this medical supply level one based on medical equipments and disinfectant. The main difference with the previous layout is I actually moved to robotics. So instead of having four of these assemblies to make my medical equipments, now I only have two, but it's the same. We need steel and plastic. We have the steel over here, the plastic over here, 
goes into it makes the medical equipment. And the disinfectant is the same, we need ethanol and plastic. Once again, the plastic is coming from here. The ethanol is going to come from over here, from those two fermentation tanks. Add again with sugar and oxygen. We have the oxygen coming from here. The sugar is that long belt over here, which is coming from those two food processors over here. Then the sugar also continues over here to make some antibiotics, right? So we have the antibiotics part over here with also the air separator for the oxygen that's needed. Here we're making our ammonia, which uses hydrogen that's made over here based on water. So all of this is very similar. What gets different is what we're doing over here. Because again, we need to make anesthetics and morphines. These are the two buildings over here. Here we're making the morphine and here we're making the anesthetic. To do that, we're going to need steel, which is why you know, we have the steel over here. Then we're going to need hydrogen fluoride. You may remember that from the nuclear reactor. If you want to know how to make a nuclear reactor, don't hesitate to check in the video description below. And again, a bit more ammonia. The ammonia is coming from here. Again, we need nitrogen and hydrogen. And then the hydrogen fluoride is made into those two settling tanks. This is eight. We only need 12. So basically it's 1.5, but you can't really do 1.5. So I have two. And to make it, it's not hard. You need rock and acid. It will create some slag. So it's important also to have the exit and to make sure that it's kept empty. But you know, just need to import a bit of rock. The acid is actually made over here where we need sulfur and a bit more water. The sulfur is brought by a truck. The water just comes with the rest of the water. And this acid goes over here, but it also goes into this one over here, right? We need the poppy, the acid, and some glass. The glass is just coming from this one over here at level zero. And the poppy is the other greenhouses that we have over here. Now you may have realized that this is not perfect ratios. For example, over here, I need 12 poppy. I'm making actually 4.8 times 2, so that's basically 10, let's round it up to 10, instead of 12. So I'm not exactly going to make 24 morphines per minute, which means that I'm not exactly going to make 48 medical supply per minute. But if you remember, I only need right now in my city 24.2 medical supply per minute. So I couldn't actually make half, I couldn't make 24, because I need more than 24 even when there's no illness, and when there's an illness, we need even more than that but I don't actually need 48, which is why, you know, I only made two of these and not the third one. And yeah, then, and then those medical supply are just sent into this unit storage over here, picked up from time to time to be delivered into my city. Don't hesitate to use the comments below if you want to ask any questions, share any thoughts or requests for future videos. I'd love to hear about it. So you can join my Discord community if you want to discuss Captain of Industry or many other games. And I hope to see you next time for other exciting videos.